All right, here we go. We going for it. What up, everybody? Once again, it's your boy, uh, Euphoria. Thank you once again for entering Euphoria. As I always say, it's not just a name. It's a whole wave. It's a whole vibe. Um, wow. I am stepping out on a plank on this one. Um, I'm definitely stepping out a bit. Y'all, please don't crucify me. All right. If you dig this video, if you feeling it, please drop some likes. Please drop some comments because I am taking one for the team, all right? But I've noticed, I haven't seen too much of it, but I've seen some of it. Enough to kind of surprise me that people don't understand this, of why, you know, people don't understand why Jungkook's uh, left and right song is outperforming J-Hope's more. Like, I know, I know, I know. It's very sensitive territory, but I think I've, I, I I could do this. I think I could do this. And that's what I want to talk about. Uh, foremost, it's not Young Cook's song. <laughs> this is my first point. It is not Young Cook's song. And I'm going to try to make this quick. It is Charlie Puth. I think that's how you say his last name. And first of all, Charlie, Charlie Puth is a freaking massive superstar pop star in his own right alone like i checked his youtube and that alone has like 23 million subscribers on his youtube alone i ain't check his instagram and tiktok and all the rest of that nonsense that alone got 23 million subscribers so we're not just comparing numbers here okay it's literally two against one I, again this is just for anyone that don't realize it anybody else that get this by say duh i know that but apparently some people don't realize this so i just decided to make a video to talk about it we're not just comparing numbers we're comparing star power it's two against one charlie puth is a star respectfully in his own right you combine that with young cook what come on man that's bound to go stupid you know what I'm saying? And in the meantime, J-Hope is putting out a solo effort. Like, this is the first time it's really been intentionally communicated on a group-wide level that we're putting out a solo effort. Yeah, they did them before, but it was just kind of like side projects they was working on while they was doing the BTS thing. This is the first time they're actually like all out as as a whole you know what i'm saying putting out a solo project so you know what i'm saying that's 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 that you know what i'm saying and to 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 that point as well you got to understand everybody is not a j-hope bias yet <laughs> i believe there's j-hope biases and people who are yet to be a j-hope bias um i think in burn the stage jimin explained it pretty well where it's basically, I think it was Burn the Stage, where basically at first you don't really see him like that. And then one day something just shift, something just click, something just turn. And I'm telling you, it's the point of no return. It's like once you get it, you're done. You're cooked. You're finished. You don't stand a hope. His personality is so infectious. His energy is so magnetic. And just who he, I'm telling you, once it clicks, you're you're fried. Comment if you know what I'm talking about. I personally had that moment as well. Once it started to click for me, I was done. Yeah, I ain't stand a chance against that. So, but yeah, so everybody is not a J-Hope, you know what I'm saying, bias yet. So they're probably paying attention to so much other things. i give you a quick example. To this day, I still haven't even heard, I think the song was Christmas Day by V. Because when that came out, I was so wrapped up doing other things and doing my Yogi content, I didn't even get to it. And now we're not even nowhere near Christmas and I just haven't even checked it out yet. As a matter of fact, I haven't even heard the pre-release um, version to, um, to Seesaw. Yeah, and that was just released. And Seesaw is literally one of my favorite songs on the entire planet. 
You know what I'm saying? None of that's a BTS song, even though I know it's a Yonggi solo, but still, you get the point. I haven't even heard that. Shame on me. I need to slap myself for that. How have I not listened to that yet? What is wrong with me? I got to get focused. I got to get back on track. So, and you know, another point I want to make is maybe a solo. I, I don't know. This is just now. This is just speculating because I don't know how things work behind the scenes, but maybe the solo effort is not getting the significant marketing push that projects get on a more group level. That's highly possible because for, you know what I'm saying? Foremost, it, I don't want to say too much about that, but maybe that's possibly um, what's, what's, what's going on. Um, you know, a bit with that. And like I said, also, you know what I'm saying? It's it's a American pop artist. For those who don't pay attention to music like this, an American pop artist is a very big deal. We're talking multi-million dollar, billion dollar businesses and, and, and organizations and things like that. That's a big deal. So we're comparing someone's solo effort for the first time, per se. I know we had Hope World, but I already explained that. For the first time, compared to an American pop star saying, hey guys, I'm back. This is my new song featuring what your favorite, you know what I'm saying, member in the world from the greatest group in the entire world. You, you, just phenomenal. You can't miss. It's a win, 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 win. You can't miss. You can't miss. You can't miss. You can't miss. So there's a huge difference between, again, you know, just putting out a solo effort that's completely left from what we've ever been expecting or seen compared to American pop artists saying, hey guys, I'm back, here we go. This is my new smash single and the album is coming soon. Trust me, there's a significant difference between that on a musical level. I just understand a bit about the musical industry, so I'm explaining this for those who don't get. And lastly, like I always say, man, it is OT7 for those who haven't realized it yet. Trying to compare these guys is a fruitless battle. You will not win. It's like trying to run away from a sniper. They say you only die tired. You will not win, okay? They are all superstars in their own right. They are all respectfully demigods. If you don't know what a demigod is, that's your homework. You can look it up. Congratulations. I just taught you a new word. And it does fit perfectly to the point that I'm trying to make. So you it's, it's a waste of time. It's OT7. It took me a while to freaking realize that because that's why everybody's a biased record because everybody deserves to be a bias. I think it just ultimately boils down to just what's your personal favorite taste. Personally, me is Yongi because deep inside me is a music producer as well. And I love that shit. And he just got that dark that extreme emotional energy that I just absolutely freaking love. See, I'm already getting caught up into it because when I think about it, Jimin has charisma just out of this freaking, see, I, I, this is why I don't do this. I gave that up. I gave that up a long time ago. Anyway, that's all we got for this one. Um, I'm sure there's quick, there's a few more reasons why, but that's just a little quick beep, beep, beep. That's just a little quick four piece combo about this subject, you know what I'm saying? Why uh, Charlie Poots, not Jean Cooks, left and right is outperforming J-Hopes more. That's just a little bit of insight on it for those who haven't thought about it. Just a little quick one. Like I said, again, this is an extremely sensitive subject. I know that, I'm very aware of that. So if you feeling this, drop some likes, drop some comments because it is well-deserved. And I put my, I'm, I'm, I'm stepping out on the plank, all right? I'm taking one for the team over here. You know what I'm saying? We, we, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, you know what I'm saying? You scratch my back, I scratch your back kind of deal. That, that, that's how this works. We family, right? Anyway, you already know what it is, man. We keep the content coming. It's into euphoria. Just continue to enjoy the, con the, 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 the content. I continue to enjoy the love that y'all continue to give me. I will never get big headed for it. I'm always extremely grateful. And you know what it is, man. OT7. It's all love. Best group in the world. Boy, I hate. We out.